I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley of Ashley Insurance, where we're building a community of great insurance products and great people. What does that mean? Well, as a client of ours, you'll enjoy perks like quick quotes and personalized policies. We shop for the best prices across multiple companies. And most importantly, if something bad happens, you call our team and speak directly with us. So join our insurance community today. Call 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. There are people in this country work hard every day. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you. Board Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. 
We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. D&D Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. D&D Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and closed on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of Auburn County High School Athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivb.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License, 055775. This is Ashton Rhodes, Chronic Care Manager at Rowan County Family Health Care. Are you struggling to control your blood pressure, lower your A1C, or manage other chronic health conditions? Do you ever feel overwhelmed or unsure after an office visit and need some extra help? If that's you, we can help. Rowan County Family Healthcare is now providing chronic care management services for qualifying patients. By enrolling in our services, you will receive one-on-one -on -one consultation, an individualized comprehensive care plan, education, monthly check-ins, and more. All of this will allow you access to your care team easily for questions, concerns, or follow-up. So are you ready to team up and find a healthier version of you? Give me a call at 304-927-8139. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Let me help you manage your chronic conditions. Rome County Family Health Care, health care for the entire family. Rhodes Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, is a full-service auto center providing you with AC, front end and four wheel alignment, tires, exhaust systems, to basic oil changes and state inspections, and full electrical diagnostic service. Our highly trained technicians with over 40 years of experience between them, Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia. 304-655-6765. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. Hi folks, here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts, to plumbing, electrical, best-look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best-look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. 
All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardman's, our family serving yours since 1907. Builder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildrethsupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all. Roan County Athletes. Hi, this is Lisa Simmons inviting you to join the team of savings and visit Honest Fred's Flooring at 373 East Main Street, Arnoldsburg Road. We're the largest flooring warehouse in town and it's fully stocked with the latest trends in floor covering. All first quality with fair pricing, great values, and professional installation. Stop by or call today, 304-927-8082 or check us out on the web. Take a small drive to big savings. <laughs> The new year continues with even more new vehicles in stock at Jack Garrett Ford. And special financing available on select new vehicles with approved credit, like 2.9% APR on F-150 and Bronco Sport, 0% financing on Edge, Escape, and Explorer, or choose Trade Assist Cash. Get all the details when you check all the inventory at Jack Garrett Ford, Ripley Road, Spencer. Come in today. When you find yourself faced with a legal issue, the steps you take next can literally impact the rest of your life. Hiring the right attorney is one of the most important decisions you'll make. At Joel Baker Law Office, we understand the importance of providing prompt, competent, and honest legal representation. Call or text our office today to schedule a consultation, 304-500-9238. As someone who played high school sports, I was able to learn the importance of hard work and being dedicated to your job. And these lessons are why it is important that we support high school athletes. I have continued to apply these lessons to my career as a prosecuting attorney for the last 15 years. And they are the same lessons, hard work and dedication that I will use every day as a circuit judge. In 2024, vote Josh Downing or circuit judge in Division Three. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Denham, Aaron M. Nichols Treasurer. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh, I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies wanna spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead, as long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just a start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. The name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town, McDonald's and Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown, great prices every day. McDonald's and Spencer, I'm loving it and so will you. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. 
We are a full line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer. We proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brone, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores want sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304 927 2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. Hey guys, this is Shannon from Miller Steels and Deals. We have all your shopping needs from the bedroom to the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room. We've got you covered. Looking for furniture or even maybe a gift card? Come on by Miller Steels and Deals on Mount Zion Ridge in the Old Armory Building. Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5, for the best prices around. Give us a call, 304-804-6006. Rome County Lady Raider basketball is on the air. Stay tuned for all the exciting play-by-play -play action coming up next. Rome County High School Lady Raider basketball is brought to you by these supporting sponsors. Penna's Barbershop. Rhone General Hospital, Route 33 Steakhouse and Lafinca Mexican Restaurant, Macintosh Hardware, Furniture and Appliance, Jack Garrett Ford, Ashley Insurance, Joel Baker Law PLLC, Old Fences Realty, Stats Pharmacy, Richard Flan and Garden, Miller's Suds and Sales, Anita Harold Ashley for Circuit Judge, Phoenix Nutrition, Honest Fred's Flooring, D&D Motors, Yotha Supply, Family Health Care, Groves Auto, Ford DePew Realty, Norman L. Daniels State Farm Agent, Hardman Supply, Josh Downey for Circuit Judge, ECI Environmental Compliance Inc., Carpenter's General Store, Mini Hamilton Health System, Boca Valley Bank, Spencer McDonald's, Rich Top Rentals, Spencer Cash Saver, Ran and Dental, DW Excavating LLC, Spencer Pizza Hut, Kirby Insurance, Calhoun Banks, and the Player of the Game Award sponsored by Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts. And now we take you courtside. Here's your Raider broadcast crew, Andrew Miller and Matt White. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's live coverage of Lady Raider basketball action. We welcome you inside the Bulldog facility here at Doddridge County High School at Craig M. Keller Gymnasium as we prepare for the biggest LKC Eastern Division Conference matchup of the season featuring Rome County coming in at 13 and 5 on the year, 8 and 1 in the LKC East. At the moment, Rome County, the number two ranked team out of the East. Their opponent tonight, though, Doddridge County, the Lady Bulldogs, 14 and 4 overall. They are 7 and 2 and ranked third in the LKC Eastern Division. These two teams have not met this season yet, but tonight will decide who will head to the LKC Night of Champions to face off against St. Mary's in the third place matchup contest. If Rome County wins this, they are headed to the championship with a two game victory lead over Doddridge. If the Bulldogs win, both teams will be eight and two in conference, but the Lady Bulldogs will have the head-to-head -head victory over Rome County and it will be Doddridge heading to the Night of Champions. Nothing much on the line other than everything here tonight alongside the rest of the crew. Liam X is our studio technician back at WBRC Control. Katie White, our camera person. Matt White, statistician and my caller analyst. I'm Andrew Miller, ready to bring you guys this monumental matchup for Rowan County. Well, Matt, we've been waiting for this one ever since Rowan County took care of business on Thursday against Braxton County. We knew that this was for all the marbles, per se, for the third place matchup at the LKC Night of Champions. Well, it's a position that going into this season, I don't think anybody really expected the Lady Raiders to be here and be competing for a chance to get to that Night of Champions and what a huge accomplishment it would be for this group. They've gone in with this underdog mentality all season. They're scrappy. You know, they're going to fight you tooth and nail, uh, you know, you look back at that Braxton County game, that was the end of a very long stretch of very taxing games. So much so, Coach Sandy White gave them Friday off, rest, recuperate, have the weekend, come back Monday with that mentality back in your head that we can beat anybody. There's no one, if you can knock off Parkersburg Catholic, that was a top four team in AA, 
you can beat just about anybody. And you've got to have that mentality going in, you know, and, and just try to get that energy level back to the point where it needs to be for this uh, a very big LKC matchup. Now, matchups are everything, and this is an incredibly athletic Doddridge County team. Very young Doddridge team. They start a freshman, a pair of sophomores, a junior, just one senior, by the way, on the starting roster, two total on the roster for Coach Lee's achievement. Looking at the statistics, Rome County and Doddridge, very similar. Raiders score a few less points per game, but 48.4, 54.2 for Doddridge. Rome County gives up. Just a point more per contest defensively, 40.6, 39.3 for Doddridge. One thing Rome County is going to have to overcome here tonight is Rome County will be without one of their better players on this team. Hope Mason out tonight with illness, and that is a tough thing for Rome County. They're going to be without 8.6 8 points, 8.1 rebounds, and a motor throughout this contest. It's just the way it happens. So with this team, they are truly a team. It's next person up mentality, and it's going to have to be freshmen. Ella Keen, we've seen throughout this season play a little bit of varsity ball, and she has had some good minutes, but she is about to be thrust into a big role tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and do what you said I couldn't do. Ella has to elevate her game tonight if Roan County is going to come out with the big one. I gave you that one on the way here, Matt. I told you not to use it, but you did. We are ready to go here in just a minute. You're welcome. Break away for our sponsors, and the National Anthem will come back. We'll have the starting lineups for both squads, and the opening tip here, it is for the Night of Champions birth here tonight at Doddridge County High School. You're watching Lady Raider basketball on WVRC. Minnie Hamilton is excited to announce the opening of our Women and Maternal Care Services in Glenville. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Minnie Hamilton Health System. We offer childbirth education classes and breastfeeding and postpartum support. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glenville office for more information at 304-462-7322. For the next few seconds, picture yourself retired. What do you see? What sounds do you hear? How do you feel? However you picture your retirement, planning early is the best way to make it happen. And State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels is here in Spencer to help. He can chat with you about the kind of retirement that you want and then help you find the best ways to save for it. A little today can add up to a lot tomorrow. So get started now. Call State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels and Spencer at 304-927-5680 and picture yourself happy. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At Old Fences Realty, we are marketing superstars. Anyone who knows me, Mike Greenlee, knows that I'm marketing 24-7. From the Jeeps I drive, the incredible internet site, heck right down to the clothes on my back, I'm marketing my listing. My logo is everywhere you look. Is that a coincidence? I think not. I've definitely made my mark on the world in farms, but don't forget, we're awesome at homes too. With increases in interest rates on homes, you need someone with the marketing tools to get it sold quickly. Call me, Mike Greenlee, broker for Old Fences Realty, and I will turn my professional team loose on selling your real estate right away. We welcome you back inside the Craig M. Keller Gymnasium the campus of Doddridge County High School, a beautiful campus, a beautiful school. We were remarking that, Matt, on our way in. And what a better site for a big matchup in the LKC East. Obviously, Gilmer County run away with the East. They are undefeated at 10-0. They are the number one seed and the representative in the championship. Tonight, we'll decide who is the number two seed in the East to face off against St. Mary's. Let's take a look at the starting lineups, Matt, for both teams. Let's get it started first with the Lady Bulldogs. Hey, talk about the senior leader for this Bulldog team, 5'5 guard, Tin Lee Paul. We get the 5'4 sophomore guard, Peyton Trent, a 5'9 freshman guard, Allie Cheeseman, and 5'9 junior forward, Akaya Williams, and in the middle, the 5'9 sophomore forward, Kimberly Adams. For Rome County getting the start at point guard, having a tremendous sophomore campaign. It's the five foot three point guard, Anatoly, 11.6 points, 
2.4 rebounds, a pair of assists, and 3.6 steals per contest. She has 13 threes, that's good for second on the team, and her free throw shooting has been outstanding throughout the year. 69 trips to the line, she has made 60 for an 87% free throw average. Braylon Bowe has really come on here in the last couple of weeks of the season. She's been steady before, but she has really picked up her game here in the last couple of years, the five or the last couple of games. The 5'7 junior two guard averaging 6.1 points, 3.4 rebounds, and a pair of assists per game. It doesn't get any better, though, than Piper Harlan, the 5'7 senior guard averaging 10 points, 7.4 rebounds two assists, and nearly four steals per contest. She leads the team in threes with 21. Now, I mentioned she is shooting 55% from the free throw line. Normally, you say that's not much. She has taken 100 trips, has made 55, but she was shooting 42% just two weeks ago. She has made a ton in the last four games, so she has got that confidence built up. Underneath for Rowe County again, Hope Mason not with us tonight. We hope that she is feeling okay. We hope that she gets better as soon as possible. In her stead, we've got the freshman, six foot forward, Ella Keene. And rounding out the starting lineup for Rowe County, the six foot senior forward, Sammy Kaiser, averaging 6.6 .6 points and 4.2 rebounds per contest. Well, Matt, we have been waiting for this ball game, as have everyone up here in the Doddridge County area. We know what's on the line. Roan County does, Doddridge does, the fans do. The state I was watching today, West Virginia Tailgate Central, they're all wondering what's going on with the night of champion schedule. And everybody's like, wait a minute, there's one more game, and that's tonight. Yeah, tonight will determine you know, the rounding out of that night of champions. And like I said, what a moment for this Red County Raider team. A uh, really great environment here at Doddridge County. You see the lights off. You got some neon green lighting going on. A lot of fun here. This is a this is a wonderful place to come and play. Uh, you know, you got the beautiful facilities over the hill. They've completed the softball field. This gymnasium, this school is always so well kept. Just a beautiful, bright, great place to have your season of the LKC come to a close. Well, once again, for those of you who will be watching us online, I do apologize. We are going to be on the radio, so I will be doing radio play-by-play. -play. Again, I know you can all see what's happening. Unfortunately, the people out there in Radio Land cannot, so I'll be doing radio play-by-play. -play. In the center circle for Rome County, Piper Harlan uh, posing her is the 5'9 junior, Akaya Williams. See if Roan County can continue to step up in big moments this season. As Matt said, I don't think anyone expected the Lady Raiders to be in this position in this ball game. First drive, baseline, shot put up no good by Cheeseman, and Roan County clears the rebound. Harlan with a nice save. That was a really nice take to the right side of the basket. A good look there for the Lady Bulldogs. Great backside rebound there. Piper Harlan hustle for days. Bo flashing down the lane right side. Dishes off to the freshman Keen. Again, Ella getting her first start, and she will be asked to do a good bit as Bo whistled for the extra foot. Moving travel on Braylon. Looked a little bit like a more of a jump stop to me, but I'm kind of not getting that call. Lady Bulldogs trying to inbound here against some full court pressure. Rome County, last game back on Thursday. They should be well rested, but a very nice press break ends with an easy layup for Akaya Williams. So he just went over the top there at the half court line. Cheeseman with a really nice dish off there to Akaya Williams in the two on one fast break opportunity. Bo looking for a mid range jumper, picks up the dribble, rifles it over on the right wing, back out top it goes. Tolly. Crossing over into the paint, loses the dribble. It's on the ground, picked up here by Paul. Tinley Paul heading into the front court. Sorry, that was Lipscomb, I apologize. J.C. Lipscomb. And Roe County falls down 4-0 to begin. As I mentioned, this is a very athletic and very quick team for Doddridge County. Roe County will have to make sure defensively they get back. Here's Harlan attacking, and it was stripped away, I believe, Lipscomb got a hand in. It was kicked out of bounds, unfortunately, by Harlan. A couple of early turnovers for Roan County. 
Minute and a half gone by. Now a near turnover. Saved in nice, and Lipscomb flies into the padding underneath the backboard, and I think Coach Cheeseman is going to call a timeout, Matt. Boy, Lipscomb sacrificed the body, went into the padding, and let's just say that's not the nicest padding in the world, and I think they may get her out. They're going to bring Adams in off the bench. They're going to go big with the forwards underneath. Yeah, yeah, Kimberly a, Adams, a 6.5 points, 6.7 rebounds per game average for a 5'9 sophomore. Well, I think part of that timeout, too, you were looking at a possible 10-second violation because the Run County pressure was making it very tough for the Lady Bulldogs to get that ball anywhere past the free throw line. Well, Roan County down 4-0 early. One thing we've seen about this team is they don't get rattled much at all. The only time I can remember was the last five minutes of the Parkersburg South regulation and then Gilmer County. Other than that, they have been steady Eddie throughout the year. Pressure broken. They'll dump it to Williams. Left block out top. Tipped by Harlan. Stolen by Keene. Keene into the front court. She's got handles. Dribbles it off of the foot of a defender. Jump ball. Roan County with the arrow. Wasn't, wasn't a whole lot there on that break opportunity. May have wanted to slow that one down, but we've seen Ella be able to hit that little Euro step. Tried to go for that one. Unfortunately, it just dribbled off of the foot there, the Lady Bulldogs. Bo into the corner right, misses the free of the layup. Rick, ricochet shot put up by Harlan, misses. She'll get her own rebound. Roan County continues offensively. Down the right side lane, blocked away, taken by Paul. Over to Trent, left side, layup up and good. 6-0 the lead for Doddridge. Starting out hot are the Lady Bulldogs. They have gotten past Rome County's transition defense. Five minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Now that pressure defense did good on that last possession, but Rome County in the half court sets. Got a couple of good looks at the basket on that last one, just couldn't convert. Right wing, screen set for Bo. Picks up the dribble, right was at left block, shot put up, foul coming. That was Keene attacking high side. And the foul is going to be whistled against Kimberly Adams, the 5'9 sophomore. They'll say during the shot. And Keene will head to the free throw line. 525, mark first quarter, 6 0 Doddridge. That was just a good, quick take to the basket there by Ella Keene. A quick find from the uh, right elbow down to the left block. Keen takes it up immediately, gets the foul called, knocks down the first of two. First point of the game for the Lady Raiders. Again, I do apologize for those of you watching. We are doing play-by-play -play radio style. So I'll be talking a whole lot more than you would probably like. Second free throw missed, rebound, tipped by Harlan, and back into her hands. That's one of the things that Piper does well, just those 50-50 balls. Here's Keen attacking again. Shot blocked this time, Akaya Williams, I like the way that the freshman Keene, though, is attacking these two bigs. Well, that was just a good defensive play there by Williams. Just a big swat. Got the mitt right in Keene's shooting lane. Rome County inbound out top. It goes Bo. Dumps it in. Tipped away. Stolen by Williams. Off to Paul. Left side. Paul tries to wrap a pass around and out of bounds. Last touch. By Doddridge, 5.03, first quarter, Rome County down 6-1. A very difficult angle to, for that wraparound pass, but good hustle there by Sammy Kaiser getting back to contest Williams as she was trying to take that ball up. Anatoly jogging it across the midcourt strike. Elbow, right side, Keen hands it off Harlan, dumps it back inside, Kaiser looking for it. Great defense, though, Peyton Trent recovering, knocking it away. Trent front court, left wing. Paul cut off on the drive, out top it goes to Trent. Foul line, bounce pass, tipped off the knee of Kaiser out of bounds. We'll get the kick ball. This Lady Bulldog seems so quick to get up the floor. Run County gonna have to match that pace. And with a shortened bench tonight, we'll see how effective that is for the Bulldogs. Cheeseman dumps it in, right block. Williams out to Paul. Corner right, here comes the three, good. Doddridge playing very well to begin this ball game. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Nine to one, the lead for the Bulldogs. Elbow, handoff, and that one tipped away from the handoff going to Tolly. I believe Paul may have gotten a hand in. 
422 mark first quarter 9-1 Doddridge a trip to the night of champions on the line here tonight inbounds right elbow Kaiser ready to pull the trigger misses rebound fought for underneath Keen gets it to Kaiser Kaiser bounces at bow right wing Braylon picks it up needs some help somebody's got to come by and now a whistle and a reach in foul called on Cheeseman that was a very big bailout on the foul by Cheeseman yeah, it was a Tough spot there for Bo. Had nowhere to go with the basketball. Well, you get pick up the dribble that far away. Somebody's got to come up and try to help. Uh, you know, just take that hand off. Lady Raiders trailing 9-1, 4-10 mark first quarter. Tolly out between the circles, guarded loosely by Paul. Moves right wing. Holding it high above the head. Bo gets a screen, rolls middle. Hands it off. Kaiser attacks, drives, dishes. 18 footer out top, missed. Rebound. Bo off to Tolly. Baseline jumper pops out at the last second. Rebound controlled by Williams. Rowe County now is going to reach in 90 feet from the basket. And how did that not drop in the bucket for Tolly? The foul on Anna. Oh, that ball just went around the world about three and a half times before it popped out. Tough one there. Uh, Goddard's just looking very crisp early in this game. Okay, just got to settle down and, uh, you know, try to uh, make sure that you're getting your reads on defense. Screen set, Williams rolls off the pass. Beautiful from Trent. Williams, though, unable to handle it. Misses the layup, the rebound, tied up. Possession arrow favoring Doddridge. Inbounds, Paul, left side, 15-footer. Back rims at rebound, Harlan. Running front court, Harlan left side. Tries to feed the pass off, nearly stolen away by Paul, picked up on a loose ball. Tolly pulls the trigger, 18 feet right wing, no good. Harlan, another rebound. Number six already in this first quarter. Rome County can't buy a bucket. Keen looking to attack, traveled with it. Just took off, didn't have that ball in her hand. Well, 315 mark first quarter, 9-1 Doddridge. Yeah, I think before that ball even got into Ellis hand, she was taken off. Trying to get that quick first step. She's done a good job of that early that time. Just a little too quick. Akaya Williams checking out back in. J.C. Lipscomb, good to see she's okay. Keen gets a break. Kate Mullen in for the Lady Raiders. 3.05 left first quarter. Give and go inside. Adams shot good and a foul coming. Just a little body contact underneath on Rome County. I think they got Bo. They did. And it's a 10-point lead. Rome County with one point on the board, five minutes into this first quarter. Well, that helps our defense. They've got to get uh, back to the to the, the roller. They're coming up, giving a high ball screen, and then rolling one of the bigs, either Adams or Williams, to the basket. Help side, got to get there a little bit faster. Free throw good, 12-1 the lead, under three left first quarter. Again, just pick and roll outside has been picking off Rome County. Here's Tolly attacking. Bumped, no call, balls on the ground, last touched, out of bounds by the Lady Raiders. I thought Adams was the last to get it. I think Kaiser may have. Yeah, Kaiser came flying in there on the floor trying to get a hold of that basketball, and I think knocked it away from Adams. The freshman, Allie Cheeseman, outs. In comes Peyton Curry, a 5'7 junior, for the first time. 245, first quarter, all Doddridge, 12 to 1. Rome County unable to put shots in, just one free throw. Adams has it swiped away, jump ball favoring Rome County. Good hands by Kaiser. Kaiser reached in, tried to strip that one away. A quick whistle on that jump ball or Kaiser would have been going the other direction, but gets the possession back for Rome County. Great play. Stagged it off and so far for Rome County. They've got to find a good shot and see it drop. Bow, elbow left, crosses right wing. Harlan into the paint, whistle coming, reach in foul. I think maybe Lipscomb will check and see though. Yeah, Harlan will get Trent instead. Sorry, Matt. Quick move to the left. I think saw that reach coming and just ran the arms up into it, trying to draw that foul, try to generate some kind of offense here for the Raiders. Harlan missing long on the first attempt, 223 remaining first quarter. Rome County trailing by 11, 12 to 1. Those defensive rotations there by the guards of Doddridge County, not letting Roan County get free at all. One of two for Piper. The lead is 10 for Doddridge. Roan County, just no offense to speak of at the moment. Curry out top. 
Three guard weave, Trent's elbow right, feeds it. Adams in the paint, misses the jumper. Rebound underneath, Trent finds Adams, elbow right side, rolls one off the front of the rim. And drops it in the bucket. The lead is 12 with two minutes left in the first. Roan County got to find some offense. Just two free throws is all they have between the circles. Bo gets a screen, attacks, rim, no good. Whistle, body contact, foul coming. Well, I said last time it was Lipscomb, it was not. This time it is. Substitutions, Cheeseman and Williams for Doddridge set to check in. Keen kneeling in front of us, getting ready to come into the ball game. Good strong take there to the basket by Braylon Bow. It's been all of Roan County's offense is trying to get free throw attempts now because, like I said, the, the, the rotations by the Dodgers guards, they're clearing out on those screens so quickly and just not giving any kind of driving lane or even a passing lane. And then those big help side defenders in Adams and Williams are right there to close out the middle. First free throw good for Bo, 14 to three, Doddridge. Roan County has only three throws in the first quarter, 146 left. Second up and good for Braylon, two of two. Lead is back down to 10. Rodridge forgets to bring someone back to inbounds it. Now Adams comes into the backcourt, hands it off into the front court. Lipscomb, pass knocked away, picked up by Adams out top on the left side. Between the circles, Lipscomb jump pass, tipped out of bounds. Rowe County getting handsy nicely defensively as Paul will check back in for the Bulldogs, replacing Curry. That was Piper Harlan knocking that ball out of bounds. Quick hands, getting the pass deflection. Forty court inbound. Right side, inbound out top to Adams. Keen better be careful. Very bodied up on Adams. Paul comes to take it away. Gets a screen. Rolls down the lane. Left side. Layup good. That was too easy out top, and it's been all that foul line area. Give and goes. Screens out top for drives, and the pick and roll has worked. Now yeah, that time, I think Roan County looking for that pick and roll. How about but Braylon Bow with a very nice answer? The first field goal of the quarter for Roan County, and it's a three at the 105 mark. 16 7, lead cut to nine. Under a minute left here in the first. Adams crossing. Williams left block misses. Gets her own rebound. Misses again. This time, Mullen with the clear. Kate will find the guard, Tolly, here with 45 seconds left. Kaiser was set to check in. Now she'll come back to the bench and get a breather. Out top, Harlan, open for another three. Hits the back rim, hits the side and falls out. That one was as good as dead. Paul into the front court, Roe County not back in transition. Left side, here's Cheeseman. Misses off the rim, rebound. Harlan tips it to herself, another rebound. 20 on the clock, Piper left side. Cuts into the middle, layup, misses too strong, rebound controlled by Doddridge. Here they come, Williams down the lane, nobody back for Roan County, misses another layup. Williams has missed a ton. Mullen, though, misses on the outlet pass. It's tipped and stolen by Lipscomb, and Roan County is going to foul Lipscomb under the basket on a made basket. Mullen had a great rebound and then just threw it into the hands of a very tall defender. It ricocheted off into the hands of Lipscomb and Roan County whistled for the foul. 18 to seven, all going right for Doddridge right now. Roan County offensively, very rough first quarter. Nine on the clock. They really needed to capitalize on that one with Williams missing the easy bucket. Uh, Roan County turns it back over, tough break. Five seconds left, crossing the timeline. It's Tolly, two, one. Roan County's not going to get a shot off either. Wow. A rough first quarter for the Lady Raiders. They trail by 12 after one. Three still to play, though. Lots of basketball still to go here. Roan County, Lady Raider basketball on WVRC. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. 
Pinnis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Pinnis Barbershop on Main Street in Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Back inside the Craig M. Keller Gymnasium here at Doddridge County High School. The battle for the Night of Champions owned in the first quarter by Doddridge Bat. They lead 19-7. Now, Rome County did a good job on the boards, 11-7 in that quarter. Seven of those from Piper Harlan herself. But it was Doddridge's defense generated six steals and two blocked shots and moved the ball very well, won the assist ratio 4-1. to one. The tough start here for Rome County just buckled down play some tough defense, and just hope to get some shots to fall. Roan County has been out of games before this year and come right back into them. Lots of basketball. They just got to clean some stuff up. Three-guard weave. Cheeseman finds the right wing three. Missed by Lipscomb. Somehow Lipscomb ends up with a loose ball. Harlan almost had another one. Cheeseman pulling up on the right corner and burying the jumper. Everything going right for Doddridge offensively. That time, Harlan almost had another rebound knocked away from her. Well, and that's six different players for Doddridge on the scoreboard already here in the beginning of this second period. Bow between the circles, moves left wing. Man-to-man -man defense for Doddridge. Tolly, extended right wing. Dumps it down in the block right side. Harlan muscles it up, missed rebound by Keene, and her rebound put back is no good. Nothing falling for Roan County. Cheeseman. In transition, fires a deep three, no good. Bo with the rebound. Down the right side, Braylon looking up the court, has it stolen away from behind by Trent. Into the hands of Paul. Another turnover caused by a defense of Doddridge. Inside Williams, turnaround, jumper good. And it is 23 to seven, Doddridge. That was good defense by Keen. that hand straight up, but Williams, kind of a baby hook. Yeah, Williams has missed a few of them at the basket that time. A really nice one. Harlan off the handoff at the foul line by Keene, bodied up by Williams. She'll be whistled for the foul. 626 mark, second quarter. Roan County down big, 23-7. to seven. I think the, the offensive sets in the half court are not working here early on. So Roan County trying to drive the basket, try to get some, generate some some free throw attempts. Harlan knocks down another one. Two for three now at the line is Piper. Roan County with one field goal so far tonight. It was a three by Braylon Bug. Lady Raiders down by 15 points. They have dug themselves a bit of a hole. We mentioned Harlan just 55% from the, from the free throw line this year, but she has been really good the last two weeks. Let's see if Rome County can clean up the defense. Cheeseman, step back three. Wow. Nothing you can do about that one. Uh, you can't blame the defense there. It was good. Just a step back. Beautiful jumper there from Cheeseman. The freshman averaging nearly 10 points per game. She's got 15 threes on the season. Coming in, there's Tolly off a nice dish on the left side. Driving and scoring the lead back down to 15. That's a good off-ball screen there to free Tolly up, and Doddridge turns it over in the half-court set. Now it was a perimeter pass from right to left as Paul was looking for Cheeseman, and it just goes away, a ride. Rome County trailing here, 545 mark of the second quarter, 26-11. Here's Kaiser, 15-footer top circle, misses. Rebound tipped out of bounds, and Keene the last to get a hand on top of it. Going up over the top of Trent, knocking that one out of bounds. Like I said, Rome County doing a good job of rebounding here early, but just not taking care of the basketball. Being a little careless with it on offense. Cheeseman drives, dishes, corner right three. Paul too strong, long rebound though, and the only one there was Cheeseman. Left side drive, back again, Paul. She'll try a second three, that one misses. Rebound tipped by Harlan into the hands of Bo. Both of the things that Harlan won't get credit for, but she did well. Tolly, right wing, drives, gets past her defender, straight to the hoop. Very nice move by Tolly to lead down to 13 now. It was 12 after one. Three minutes going by in the second. Corner left side. Lipscomb rifles it out top. Cheeseman thought about it. Now she will shoot it. Misses the three. Rebound Williams. Brings it down around her hip. Almost had it stolen. Here is Trent driving. Missing. Rebound. Tip 
by Kaiser, taken by Harlan, and now Cheeseman is going to be fouled. That's a, probably a good foul because Tolly was wide open underneath and Harlan was looking to throw that one. Cheeseman at midcourt with the foul. Uh, just two fouls here on the Lady Bulldogs. None for Roan County here in this second quarter. And we're nearing halfway point, 442 left to go here in the second. Cheeseman checking out, Curry back in. 26-13, Roan County down by 13. They trailed by as many as 17. Bo, left wing, looking for a screen and roll. Throws it right off the hands of Paul. In transition, boy, do they get down quickly. Trent, though, misses a wide open layup. Bo, rifles at front court. Here comes Tolly. Tolly attacks. Shot put up, no good. Whistle, and Tolly called for the charge. A 50-50 ball. I think the lead official and the trail official disagreed on that. The trail official was about to call a block. Yeah, like you said, I mean, that was very close, 50-50. Could have gone either way. Tough break for Roan County. You're trying to get, you know, get some offense going here, trailing 13. Whistle stoppage of time. The official, I think, saw something on the floor. And some. he will send it off here. Not sure what that was. 418 some, mark of the second. Some confetti or something, possibly? Some yeah. pregame confetti? Possibly. 26-13, Doddridge leading. Winner advancing to the Night of Champions. Paul looking for the screen and roll. That one tipped away by Tolly, stolen by Bo. Grayland, front court. Grayland attacks, misses the layup, though. Rebound, Keen rips it away. Has it stolen. It's on the ground. Battle for the ball. Jump ball, Roan County has it. Good hustle by Keen and then Bo. And it looked like Adams was going to get that clean rebound. Keen able to rip it away. And then uh, the tie up there gets the ball back to Roan County. Four minutes, three seconds left in the half. 26-13, Doddridge with the lead. Left baseline inbound, Bo to Tolly. She'll drive, baseline draws contact, and she will shoot free throws as Trent agrees, shakes her head. Yep, that was me. Good self-awareness there for Trent. A lot of times you see kids say, I didn't, I didn't commit that foul. She said, I did it, and I'm not going to do it again, or I'm going to be over on the bench. First free throw for Tolly, up and good. Four minutes, one second left in the half. Roan County trying to cut back into this deficit. It was 12 after one. Roan County had not made but one field goal. The rest were free throws. They only had one point with three minutes left in the first quarter. Now out to 15 as Tolly hits both. Lead cut to 11 now. Lips come into the front court. Stops, hands it off to Tenley Paul, the lone senior in the starting lineup. A drive, a dish. Lipscomb air bails at long, rebound. Piper Harlan, reach foul coming back in the backcourt. Maybe a frustration foul by Lipscomb after missing that baseline jumper. And that is, I believe, foul number five of the quarter. So Roan County has an opportunity here, Matt. Three minutes, 46 seconds remaining. Nope, that's just the fourth. I do apologize. But after this, Roan County on every foul will be shooting two. Chance to cut it to single digits for the first time since mid-first quarter. We'll talk about those four-minute stretches. Let's see here what Roan County can do going into halftime. Left wing, Tolly looking to drive. High side into the lane. Muscles one up. Misses the shot. Rebound tipped out. Here comes Paul down the left side. Crosses to the middle. Looking. Feeds it to Trent from way downtown. Hits the front of the rim. Rebound tipped off. Saved in by Harlan. To Bo, down the court, Tolly looking to challenge, but Paul quickly back, knocks it away from behind. 317 remaining in the half. Roan County will inbound underneath. Great hustle play there under the basket by Harlan, getting that ball in. Let me see, you got 26-15, 317 to go here in the second. Harlan always hustling, Matt, but she has done a fantastic job to try to help Roan County here. 315 left in the half. Roan County down by 11, 26-15. Bo, corner right, one dribble, out to Harlan for three. Short misses, rebound by Keen, tries to feed the pass out, and you are going to get a foul on Williams for bumping Keen after the pass. Williams was continuing to box out there. Well, that's what you're taught to do as a post player, just continue that box out, but Keen using those long arms, able to reach around 
from Williams and get that basketball, draw the foul here. Like you said, that's number five, so Roan County will shoot here for the last 306 of this second quarter. Well, he made the first basket of the game. Well, the first shot of the game was a free throw. She hits here. It's down to 10. Roan County trying to make it nine with 306 left. 26-16 and make it 26-17. We said that Keen was going to have to play a much bigger role tonight than she has in the past, and she has done a great job so far. Trent driving left side, pass tip on the ground. Keen diving after it. A jump ball will stay with the Bulldogs. Ella Keen picking up very much where she needed to. You got that motor of Hope Mason. Without her, you need Keen to do those things, and she has. And there's some tough post players here for Daldridge. It's a big task there for Keen. Three minutes left and almost an over and back. As we thought Trent might have touched it, she'll bring it across the timeline. 2.50 left in the half. Left wing, Paul. Crosses it right side, Trent into the corner right. Cheeseman driving around Keen, and Keen getting a little bit handsy will draw the foul. Just the second here of the quarter for Rome County. 26-17, Doddridge leading. And just the fifth overall foul here in this first half for Rome County. Two on Anatoly. Ball lobbing it inbounds. Two Lady Raiders went after it, and it's saved in by Adams right into the hands of Tolly. Rome County with the steal. Tolly looking for Bo. Braylon drives, jump pass left side. Tolly three, good! A big one for Anatoly, and suddenly, the Lady Raiders have cut it to six with 2.44 left in the first half. Break to take. We'll be right back. Visit Phoenix Nutrition at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Try our awesome drinks. It'll only take one sip to find out what we're all about. We offer loaded teas to jumpstart your day. All of our teas are sugar-free with just 24 calories. We have such a wide variety of combinations, you may never try the same drink twice. Phoenix offers protein shakes and protein coffees as well. We are open Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Follow us on Facebook at Phoenix Nutrition, Instagram at phoenix.nutrition.wv, and come visit us at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Proud supporter of all Roan County Raiders. It was a very difficult first quarter for Roan County. They found themselves down by 12. No offense to speak of. They were down by 17, five minutes remaining in the half. Suddenly, they have fought back, Matt. They trailed 26 to 20, 224 left in the half. A big three off of the assist by Bo, and Anatoly cuts it to six. Yeah, it's amazing what seeing a couple of baskets go down will do for your confidence in Roan County trying to get that momentum. Roan County has moved out of the man-to-man. -man. Here's Cheeseman for three. Rebound, Williams on the miss. Her putback stayed on the rim. Roan County has gone to a zone look, and it's been very good for them. Bo into the front court. Tolly numbers for Roan County. Tolly over to Kaiser. Out top, Bo, 4-3. Bo hits that second, and Roan County has it down to five. Bo, as I mentioned, she has elevated her game the last two weeks. Adams, right corner, drives high side into the lane, gets into some traffic, out to Trent, deep three, no good. Rebound, tip, controlled by Kaiser. Outlet pass, here comes Tolly. Pull up, transition three for Anna. No good, rebound, team, and she will travel with it. I think she lost her footing. She's okay, that's a good sign. 130 left in the half, Roan County has fought back from down 17. They trail by five. Yeah, the place would have erupted there if Anna would have connected on that transition three. Roan County not giving up in this one. Roan County's going one, two, two, pass stolen by Bo. They were looking for Williams at the foul line. Bo picks up the dribble, out top Tolly. Here's Harlan, open three, left side. Another one for the Lady Raiders who simply cannot miss. It's down to two. One minute left in the half, 28-26 Doddridge. What a turn of events here in the last two minutes of this one. Now the ball nearly thrown out of bounds by Cheeseman, picked up by Paul on the baseline. Back to Cheeseman. Pumps, drives baseline, 14-footer, in and out. Williams, rebound, misses the shot. Adams clears it, though. Over to Trent. Trent drives baseline left, gets into a trap. Rome County knocks it out of bounds. 
Lady Raiders with a lot of confidence right now, and Godric's looking a little bit rattled. That smart play there by Trent. Got stuck on that baseline and just threw it off the leg of the Lady Raiders. This 1 2 2 defense has confused Godric. Paul will rifle it all the way up top. It's overthrown. Stewart. Here comes Tolly. Wide open. Way up the score. And 30 seconds left here in the half. Front court call, left side, crosses it, jumps up and side the way. And Ray County has all of the momentum right now. Wow. How quickly does that momentum change in a basketball game? Well, I can tell you how quick in about three minutes of gameplay. It is all the change up in defense to the 1 2 2. Godridge cannot find an answer. They have turned it over. Roe County has tied it. Chance to take their first lead. Keen right wing. Picks up the dribble, loses it, stolen, out of bounds, pass cuts. By Roan County. I think the official man knew he was wrong. He took off running down to the other end of the floor as soon as he made that call. Ten seconds left in the half. Godridge can take the lead. Paul over to Lipscomb, into the corner. They'll dump it underneath, and it's stocked away. Last touch by Godridge, two seconds left. Roe County has one dribble, they'll have to heave it. Doddridge will play back, court pressure. 28-28, 2.2. Gotta go over the top here. The pass, and that's gonna be a foul. Oh my goodness, what? Was Doddridge County thinking there as Cheeseman comes up and just throws Piper Harlan on the inbounds pass, I think. Cheeseman thought she could get there in time. It had to be. Uh, Cheeseman thought she could get there and intercept that ball. Read it, just couldn't quite get there in time. Good job by Harlan coming to the basketball and drawing that contact. Roan County a chance to take the lead here. 1.2 to go in the second. A turn of events. The Lady Raiders look like they were going to be there. So now they have their first lead of the ball game with one second left in the first half. 29-28. Harlan looking to make it an even 30. What a quarter it has been for Roan County. I should say, what a five minutes it's been. Second up and good, 30 to 28, Lady Raiders. Inbounds to Trent, and that is it for the first half. And Rowe County hits it high. They are fired up. After two quarters of play, it is Rowe County 30 and Doddridge 28. Break to take for our sponsors. We'll come back and recap the first half of action. And we will have your stats. You're watching Lady Raider Basketball on WVRC. Your bank shouldn't make you feel like you're on an assembly line. It's about you, your family, your future. That's why you're going to feel good about Polka Valley Bank. Because people have been feeling good about us for over 100 years. Bottom line, we have all the services of a big bank, but we're local. At Polka Valley Bank, our decision making is local. Our people get to know you and call you by name. It's a relationship with a bank that you can feel good about. See us online at PocaValleyBank.com. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Heart disease affects so many families in our community. That's why Roan General Hospital has made expert cardiology services readily accessible close to home. From prevention and education to state-of-the-art diagnostic testing to treatment and comprehensive rehabilitation. Ask your primary care provider for a referral today. Roan General Hospital. Care you can trust close to home. Ridgetop Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 304-924-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders! Are you looking for convenient storage solutions in Spencer, West Virginia? Look no further than Roan Self Storage. Our brand new facility offers 24-7 online unit rentals at RoanSelfStorage.com. Need assistance renting your unit? Call us Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 304-421-3091. 
Secure, accessible, and tailored to your needs. Rhone Self Storage, your space, your way. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patients' good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. It's cold outside. Better check that propane tank. Star well behind Spencer Middle School will fill your tank when you bring it in. Star Weld also checks your tank for safety to see if it's damaged or dangerous in any way. Don't trade for someone else's grungy tank. We fill yours. Safety, seven days a week, and service. Shop Star Weld for propane, welding gases, and supplies. Let Star Weld fire you up. Behind Spencer Middle School, dial 927-2520 or stop today. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the Committee to Re-Elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this, would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. There are people in this country who work hard every day. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you closed and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you for your time. Ford Depew Realty, serving you since 1958. 304-927-3250. We welcome you back inside the Craig M. Keller Gymnasium at the half, Roan County. Leading Doddridge County 30 to 28. I can scarcely believe my eyes after the start of this contest, the first quarter for Roan County. It got started quickly for Doddridge. They won the opening tip, and before Roan County could even get back in transition, it was a made basket on a layup. That was the MO in the first quarter. It was Roan County unable to get back transition defense, some easy layup attempts on top of that. It was Roan County unable to handle the pick and roll at the foul line and the screens at the foul line. It was Roan County on top of that offensively. They were anemic in the first quarter. They could not even get a shot, let alone find one to fall. In fact, Roan County at the three-minute mark of the first quarter had four points. All four had come on free throw attempts. 
After that, with about two minutes left, it was a three from Braylon Bow to get Roan County's first uh, basket of the first quarter, but it wasn't enough to handle what Doddridge was throwing at the Lady Raiders. They were firing on all cylinders. They led 19 to seven after the first quarter. Roan County didn't look a whole lot better to begin the second quarter. They were turning the ball over still, but they changed their defensive strategy up. They went from man to man to a one, two, two zone in half court. And that absolutely flustered, rattled, and got into the heads of Doddridge. Doddridge ended up throwing the ball away for the last five minutes. Roan County tipping, deflecting, stealing passes. On top of that, the Lady Raiders got offensive-minded. They hit three threes in the second half. Bo hit her second. Tolly hit one, and then a big one for Piper Harlan in the corner to tie the ball game. And Roan County, even down to the last play, they thought that they were going to give up a final shot to Doddridge. Instead, Bulldog turnover, Roan County with the ball. Piper Harlan fouled on the inbound with one second left. Hits two free throws, Matt, and Roan County fights all the way back to take the lead. The momentum right now, obviously, in Roan County's favor. But just as we said the Lady Raiders don't get flustered, I imagine this Doddridge team not going to be flustered either. So who's going to win the second half? This is a close ball game. Well, it's the punch-counterpunch punch going on right now. Uh, Roan County took it right on the chin in the first um, 12 minutes of this ball game, I would say, and then really just it's like it finally woke them up a little bit. Uh, I think early on one of the biggest keys was uh, the hustle of Piper Harlan. Uh, she was all over the boards, had nine in the half. She had seven at the end of the first quarter alone. And I think that energy was a little bit of a spark. And once you saw a couple of buckets go down, you know, you said Braylon hit one there toward the end of the first quarter. That was a good start. Then that second quarter, you were able to change up your half court set just a little bit and start getting a couple of uh, baskets uh, going, uh, a couple of buckets going to the basket with Anna Tolley. And then a couple of kickouts, you're drawing that defense in whenever you can get into the middle of the floor. Bo with a good kick out to Tolly, um, and then uh, Bo knocking down a couple of shots of her own. Uh, just a, a big turnaround of events there for Roan County. Uh, 21 to 16, the rebound margin in favor of Roan County. Five to five in assist. Doddridge still with the advantage. Eight to five in steals and a two to nothing in block shots. Anatoly leading scorer in the ball game, 11 points, two steals, two assists. Uh, Braylon Bow with eight points, five rebounds. Piper Harlan, eight points, nine rebounds. And Ella Keene with three points and four rebounds for the Lady Raiders. Very balanced for Doddridge. Uh, it was uh, Akiah Williams with six points and five rebounds. You had Tinley Paul with five points, four rebounds. Uh, Ali Cheeseman, five points. Kimberly Adams, five points, three rebounds. And J.C. Lipcomb, she had uh, five points and two rebounds. And then Peyton Trent with two points to round out the scoring for the Lady Bulldogs. So 30 to 28, and we're getting ready to start the second half. Roan County with possession, starting five for the Lady Raiders. Couple of substitutions as Curry is in to start the second half for Doddridge County. Lady Raiders working against a man-to-man -man defense. Screen out top, Tolly looking to roll off of it. Feeds it inside, missed by Kaiser, now a jump ball. And Doddridge with the possession, Williams and Kaiser battled for that one. It was a good look trying to get that ball at the free throw line. Try to work through Kaiser. She's had a tough task underneath, just playing tough defense against Williams and Adams both who you know, both outweigh Sammy by a considerable margin. Lady Raiders have backed out of pressure, backed out of man to man, and Paul dribbles it away. Bo though has it stolen from behind. Curry looking to attack left side. Runner misses, rebound, Kaiser. Sammy looking for a guard, Bo has it. And Bo now looking around her periphery to make sure there's no white jerseys. Bo will cross the timeline between the circles, holding it there. Moves left side. Underneath that one, knocked away by Williams. In the backcourt still Trent. Trent attacking now, lobs it underneath Williams, the only player there. Roan County, that's where they have struggled in transition defense. That was great hustle. Williams, the one that knocked that pass away, and she was the first one down the court. Bo will work it against Lipscomb. 
Hands it off between the circles. Tolly guarded loosely there by Lipscomb. Working to the right side. Now stands. Fires it to the foul line. Kaiser couldn't get a hold of it. Williams, another steal. Roe County, Cavalier with the basketball. They've turned it over a couple times. Underneath, Lipscomb fires it over the head of Trent. Tips it to Paul. Paul attacks left side. Beautiful. And the first four points scored by Doddridge. Roan County down 32-30. Pass to Kaiser at midcourt. She'll break the pressure, and then Trent comes back and help defense to knock it out of bounds. Roan County will inbound corner left. Two minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Roan County down 32-30. Bow to trigger it inbounds. Finds Keen left side. Ella attacks. Has it knocked away and kicked out of bounds. Last touch by Peyton Curry. You could see those bright pink shoes coming in. That always helps with the eyesight whenever you can pick a player out wearing the bright, bright pinks. Bo struggling to find somebody. Harlan comes back to the corner left to take it. Feeds it over. Tolly step in three. Too strong. Long rebound controlled by Williams in the corner. Rokeney must get back here. Well, they do not. Curry is wide open down on the right side. Now Curry is going to be fouled. We've got a hip check. I think Tolly is going to be the guilty party. 548 mark of the third. That's going to be three fouls on Tolly. They're going to call that a shooting foul. <laughs> so Curry. Okay. <laughs> That's some NBA uh, continuation, continuation there. right there. Curry was driving into the paint. There, at no point was she trying to shoot the basketball. You got That's our good buddy Jamie Roth said the ball don't lie. She misses the first. 32-30, though. Second free throw, good. The lead is three, and it's 5-0 on the run to begin. Now Roe County almost throws it away. In fact, they do. Lipscomb comes in front and steals it, but she was on the end line when she did it. Pressure getting to Roan County to begin this third quarter. A 5-0 run to begin. Roan County down 33-30. Tolly slows things down as she crosses the timeline. Standing on the Bulldog in the center circle. Now she'll work at left side. Out top to Bow. Bow pumps, drives, 15-foot jumper. May have been partially blocked. Harlan, another rebound. Back to Bow, 18-footer. Good. And again, Piper Harlan. Doing what she does best, keeping plays alive. 33-32. That one good for her 10th rebound of the ball game. Three-guard weave against the zone. Paul on the right side into the corner. Lipscomb fires diagonal. Trent drives, dishes. That one tipped away by Harlan again. She won't get credited for the steal. Here comes Tolly. Jumps it over to Piper, left side. Muscles up, no good. Rebound on the floor, and Rose County will have the jump ball this time as Keene Again, to the floor, 4.56 remaining in the third. Roan County down 33-32. Left baseline inbound for Braylon Bow. Lobs it diagonally right side. Harlan, step in three, short. Rebound, Bow right there. Under the basket, loses the dribble, picks it back up. Over to Tolly. here comes Anna. Into the lane, Anna throws it up. It's good, and a foul. What a throw. That was just help me, Lord, and it went in. Uh, that's exactly what that was. Sometimes the prayers get answered. Got the bump on Trent on the drive. Great concentration there by Tolly just to be able to get that shot up onto the basket. And the prayer answered and the ball goes through. A 34-33 Roan County lead now after the quick 5-0 run. 4.46 remaining third quarter. Lady Raiders with a chance at a three-point play for Anna Tolly. Student section yelling in her ear. Doesn't help out. Here's Keen, though, with an offensive rebound. She misses the putback, though. Rebound cleared by Doddridge. Paul into the front court. Fires at Lipscomb right wing. Back to the left wing. Into the corner. Curry dumps it into Williams. Williams being fouled. Keen's got to be careful with that. I like the, the, the fronting, but she's just getting a little handsy trying to reach for those basketballs. Well, you've seen, you know, Williams reaching over the top and knocking the ball away. Keen just trying to return in kind. Unfortunately, gets called for the 
And as I mentioned, Kane getting handsy that time. She did get handsy. Knocked the inbounds pass away from Williams on the left block. Out of bounds, sideline. Left side will be Curry. 4.30 left in the third row. Kenny leading by one. A trip to the LKC Knight of Champions on the line. Inbounds to the right wing. They'll swing it back to the left corner. Paul fakes the pass inside. She'll bring it back between the circle. Lobs it over to Lipscomb underneath. Curry spins baseline. Layup missed. Rebound, Ella Keen. She'll bring it out herself. Keen down the court. Now Paul back to steal it away. Numbers for Doddridge. Paul attacking herself. Oh, my goodness. And Paul with the elbow. And the foul whistled on Braylon Bow. Yikes. Well, that contact was very much initiated there by the offensive player. If I mean, feet moving or not, if you extend that elbow like that, that should be an automatic offensive foul. Wow is all I have to say about <laughs> that one. Paul taking advantage, hits the free throw, ties it at 34. Bo will check out, Kate Mullen in. And again, that's frustrating for Bo because she did everything she was supposed to. There are 50-50 charge blocks. That was not 50-50. Yeah, that, that was an initiated elbow to start. Paul hits both. This is not a good free throw shooting team on record. They only average about 62% as a team. Now Harlan fouled from behind by Curry reaching in. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Roan County down 35-34. And this is more like the LKC dogfight we were hoping. Back and forth, the lead exchanging hands. Tolly with the inbound out top. We'll set up the offense. Paul loosely guarding. Perimeter left side. Mullen, couple dribbles, picks it up, fires it back to Tolly. Open left corner three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Paul, and now Kaiser going to be called for the reach. Sammy thought that was a little loose ball, went in after it and got some contact on Tinley Paul. Yeah, I think Paul was looking to get out and run. That may have been a pretty good foul there for Kaiser. That's four here in the quarter for the Raiders. 335 left in the third. Rome County down one. Pass inside. Shot missed by Paul. Another rebound for Williams, though. She's been a menace inside. Pressure in the backcourt. Rome County. Tolly falls. Keeps control. Into the front court. Harlan. And Lipscomb reaching across that. <laughs> Phew, buddy. Very physical on that reach. Roan County maintains possession with 320 left in the third. Lady Raiders trailing by three. Again, it was a five-point run to begin the second half. Doddridge took the lead, and it's been back and forth since. Mullen will inbound quarter court. Gets it into Tolly out top. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to, if you're County, match that physical play. You know it's coming. We'll hand it off to Harlan out top. Braylon Bow picks it up. Back to Piper. Left wing three off the front of the rim. Roan County can't buy a bucket here. They've had a couple, Matt, really good looks in the left corner from three, and they just haven't hit them here in the third. That's been tough. Those have been some good looks. And Harlan coming up the floor holding their right lower back, a hip area. Doddridge with possession and a three-point lead. Three minutes left in the third. Curry, left wing, dumps it inside, tip stolen. I think Bo got a hand on it. Here comes Tolly looking for the Euro step. Whistle coming and a jump ball, and it will be Doddridge's possession. I, I, I hate to say that was a really good call because that was, that was a great defensive play. Yeah, I think that was all ball. I like the Euro step, Tolly trying to get to the left side, but a great hands play by the defender. 240 left in the third, 37-34, Doddridge. Cheeseman holds it high, gets a screen in the corner right. Back into the corner, here's a three put up. That one too strong, long rebound, Harlan. She's in double figures, rebound down the court. Tolly all alone, Tolly layup is good. Harlan, not only is she getting rebounds, she's got assists and points. Tolly finishing it off, the lead down to one. 2.15 left in the third. They'll fire it inside. Williams misses short, rebound. This time it's Keen clearing it. Off to Bo. Bo 
into the front court, fires a pass to Tolly. tolly has got to be careful. Nobody tells her from behind. Mitchcomb is there to steal it away. And Doddridge steals a possession from Roan County. Cheeseman, corner right. Pumps, drives, baseline runner, no good. Rebound underneath Roan County's, and I believe we may get an over the back on Adams. Keene had the positioning, Keene with the rebound, and a foul coming here. Roan County will send Kaiser in for Mullen. Trent checking in to replace Lipscomb for Doddridge. 37-36 Bulldogs, they'll apply pressure in the backcourt. Minute 51 left in the third. Inbounds, Tolly. Back to Kaiser. They'll find Bo on the far side. Braylon will cross, guarded by Paul. More so a little full court man-to-man -man defense, not really looking to trap. Tolly fires it into Bo. Paul knocks it away. Good defense. Paul very good with her hands. Yeah, that was 37 a good, left. A good cut to the basket. Roan County nearly got an easy one if it wasn't for the quick hands there of Tinley Paul. Left baseline inbound comes to Keene, corner left, out top. Harlan wide open, instead chooses to fire it over. Kaiser, 15-footer, no good. Williams, another rebound. Kaiser had a good look at it, just couldn't get it to fall. Trent to the top circle quickly. 120 left in the third, 37-36 Doddridge. Corner, right, or left side, Cheeseman faked the three. Tries to rifle a pass. Underneath, it's stolen by Braylon Bow. Bow pulls up. Elbow left jumper. Too strong. Rebound tip all the way out to Williams. Williams into the front court. Roan County trying to recover defensively. They will. Minute left in the third. Paul, right side corner. Back out to Trent. They'll move quickly to the perimeter. Adams baseline left. Jumper no good. Harlan can't hold on. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Piper. I thought maybe Paul got a hand on that. A tough battle there on the backside. Harlan going up against Williams, giving up a ton of size, but certainly not giving up any ferocity. Inbounds, Trent drives into the paint, tries to dish a pass underneath Williams, lost it for a second, picks it back up and scores it. She has become a real problem for Roan County on the offensive boards. That's 12 points and eight rebounds for Akaya Williams. Back to a three-point lead for Doddridge. Bo out top, guarded tightly by Cheeseman, too tightly, and another foul. And she was just looking for the foul, for a, a pass deflection. She got the right hand, and she was underneath, but she just went right through Bo's arm. And unfortunately, that's going to be four fouls there on Cheeseman. She's going to take a seat here for the final 31 seconds of this third. 31 seconds left in the third. Roan County down by three, 39-36. An absolute battle here in the third. Tolly guarded tightly by Lipscomb. Tolly to the elbow left side. Picks up the dribble, out to Bo. Braylon, one dribble, fires it. Here's Kaiser, jumper off the mark. Rebound, fought for underneath. Jump ball, Roan Counties with 17 on the clock. Keen, Kaiser both battling after that one. Uh, and a Keen. timeout coming here for Roan County. 17 on the clock, Roan County down in the third, 39-36. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. Well, I hate to say it, but we've settled down a little bit, and it's still incredible action. It was Doddridge all over Roan in the first. Roan County with a huge comeback to lead it after the break, 30-28. to It was a 5-0 run to start this second half. And then since then, it's just been back and forth, Roan County and Doddridge. The Bulldogs have held the lead a couple times by three here in the second. Roan County has led by no more than two. 17 on the clock, 39-36 Bulldogs. Left baseline inbound coming for Braylon Bow. Bow looking out top, rifles it, tipped away. Again, the hands of the Bulldog defenders, very good. They just... Keep cutting off Roan County's passing lanes here in this third period, picking up where they were at in the first quarter. Bow out top, fires it to 
Parlin, who had a good look at three and just misses the left side. Tipped off of the side of the rim and goes out of bounds. 12 on the clock. Doddridge can work for the final shot. Trent, though, wants to move quickly. Over to Adams. Quick jumper, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Williams. So, again, Roan County will have the final opportunity. Uh, we saw that at the end of the second period. Roan County able to get to the free throw line. Both teams with four fouls right now. Can they handle the pressure here in the backcourt, though? Kaiser looking, fires it into Bo with three. Back to Sammy with two, with one. Sammy throws it down the court to nobody, and it will be a three-point lead for Doddridge as we enter the fourth and final. Stay tuned, folks. This has been a blast. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual deals on wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at calhounbanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at calhounbankswv. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School. It has been a barn burner, and it's a three-point Doddridge lead as we enter the final quarter. The winner of this ball game advancing to the Night of Champions third place contest game. Roan County came in, down a person with Hope Mason, out with an, uh, with an illness. Ella Keen has more than helped out, taken over the starting lineup. It's been Piper Harlan delivering with absolute energy the whole time. Roan County's a team, and that's what we mentioned, but they're playing a great team here tonight. Doddridge with possession to begin the final quarter. And they're playing a really good defensive team. Uh, Daughters with five steals in that third quarter. Roan County baiting the diagonal pass. It was Trent trying to fire it, rifle it down on the left block from the right wing. Bo was waiting there as soon as that pass left her hand. Bo stepped in front, deflected it off of Adams. A turnover by Doddridge to begin the fourth quarter. Bo, front court. Again, though, Paul coming back to help. Roan County just hasn't been very aware of that. Paul with such speed getting back in recovery. And somebody's got to let them know that that defender's coming up behind him, too. Boy, Braylon Bodo again stepping in front, deflecting a pass, tipping it off of a Doddridge player. That time it was Paul. How about Braylon Bow making up for she has a made turnover? Some very good defensive plays in this ball game and knocked down some big buckets early. Lady Raiders inbound into the front court. Tolly muscles one up, can't get it to fall. Williams, another rebound. Number nine on the night. Front court, Adams, right side, finds Trent. Trent pull up, 14-footer, air ball long, backside rebound. Right there was Lipscomb, and Bo is going to hack a shack, and that will send Lipscomb to the line. Bo with the per personal foul. It's three fouls now on Braylon Bo, three on Anna Tolley. Doddridge with a little bit of foul trouble. Cheeseman with four, and Trent with three. Lipscomb's first, banked it in. 40 to 36, largest lead of the second half for either team. Bulldogs leading by four, just 45 seconds gone by in the final quarter. Second for Lipscomb, that one hits the front of the rim. Rebound controlled by Adams. Lady Raiders forgot to box out. Adams, baseline right, fires the jumper, no good. Harlan, another rebound. Piper wants to run. Left side, she'll slow it down. Did not have the numbers. Wise decision by the senior. Tolly will set the offense between the circles. 40-36, Doddridge here in the fourth. Harlan looking to attack. Right side lane, layup up, too strong. Rebound tipped on the baseline. And last touch out of bounds Ooh. by Curry-ish. Or sorry, that wasn't Curry. That was Lipscomb. And yikes. And Coach he will take it. looking for the push, and I think she might have a gripe, but as it stands, Roan County inbound. Left baseline, Harlan corner. Harlan dribbles it off her foot, trying to get away from Trent. Just an unforced error there, trying to get out of some pressure. 
40 to 36. Doddridge, they have struck first in every single quarter, by the way. They did here with a free throw. Leading 40 to 36, out top, travel. Ball was looking for the handoff and Lipscomb wasn't quite there yet. That's, the, that's an unforced error. It's one of the first mental lapses you've really seen out of this Lady Bulldog team throughout the game. Six and a half left in the game. Roan County down 40-36. Tolly crossing the timeline between the circles. Elbow right to Keene. Hands off Harlan. Corner left. Bo brings it to the wing. Bo rifles it across. Kaiser, 15-footer. She needed that one bad. Sammy had had some great looks, hadn't hit a big bucket though for the senior. 40 to 38, Doddridge. 6-10 left. Here is Trent, right wing three from way downtown. Stepped into it nicely, and that's a huge bucket. The lead out to five now. Tolly down to Kaiser. Kaiser, left side, muscles one up. No good, Keen with the rebound, the putback no good, but Adams is going to be whistled for body contact. Boy, Trent had missed a couple of opportunities in the first half, but staying confident in rhythm, a great pass from Williams, buried the deep three from the right wing. With 5.50 left here in the ball game, Ella Keene at the free throw line, trying to cut it down to three. First free throw, Barry, switch through. Cheeseman now with the four fouls is going to replace Adams. 43-39, Lady Raiders down four. Speed section over there doing push-ups for points, I guess. Oh my goodness, 43 <laughs> of them. Keen rattles the second home, two of two for the freshman. Playing very good basketball in replacement of Hope Mason. Roan County though down by three. Dangerous pass from right wing to left corner. Cheeseman gives it to Trent. Hands it right back off between the circles. Lipscomb drives, loses the dribble right into the hands of Tenley Paul. Three guard weave out top. Lipscomb dumps it inside. There is Williams, no good on the shot attempt. Williams gets the rebound. Back up and good. Roe County just not able to move her out of the lane. Tolly into the front court. Roan County down by five with five and a half left. 45-40 Doddridge. Tolly between the circles, waiting for the offense to set. Moves left, bounces it, elbow left side. Harlan takes the handoff out top to Bo. Bo fires it left wing. Here's Tolly for a big three. Rolls off the rim. Rebound lost by Williams, but picked up by Paul. Paul down the left side, racing into the lane. Paul loses the dribble, misses the layup on the way up. Jump ball, Lady Raider possession. Another tie up with Ella Keene. You know, she's just been around the basketball a ton in this one, Drew. Quick hands, uh, got to that loose ball, saved the possession there for Roan County. Don't know what it is about that left corner three. Roan County just does not like it. They've missed in the second half four good looks from that left corner. Inbounds knocked out of bounds by Doddridge. 4.45 to go here in the ball game. Inbounds to Bo, looking for Tolly on the left side. Tolly into the middle, crossing the timeline. Four minutes, 35 seconds left. Roan County down five. A trip to the LKC Knight of Champions on the line. Tolly gets a high screen, rolls off, fires a three. Front rims at long rebound, tipped. Cheeseman tracks it down in the corner. Off to Tenley Paul, here come the Bulldogs attacking. Yeah, Cheeseman very nearly lost that one on the baseline, or on the sideline. Cheeseman dumps it inside, tipped away by Kaiser, taken back by Williams Whistle, and a timeout by Coach Lisa Cheeseman. Break to take, 4.09 left in the game. Roe County down 45 to 40. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. 
Four minutes and nine seconds left in the contest. Roan County down 45-40 to Doddridge. Timeout for Doddridge County. They will inbound left baseline underneath their own basket. Roan County, they've gone a little bit stagnant offensively. They have had great looks, but they've only hit a couple of mid-range jumpers here lately. See if they can get back on the scoreboard. We know that they're capable of runs. We have seen it here tonight. Lipscomb rifles it right wing. It goes through the wickets, and that will make Coach Cheeseman not happy after a timeout, a turnover. Yeah, that's definitely not what you, what you were looking to get. You were trying to get Akiah Williams posted up underneath Braylon Bowe with some really good uh, defense there to keep Williams out of the lane. I like Braylon Bowe posting up for the inbounds pass. Keene has it knocked away, was holding it at the hip. And Lipscomb just knocked it away down the court. Trent under the basket. Feeds it out top. Paul rifles Cheeseman right corner. Back to Paul. They'll reset the offense. 345 left in the game. Rome County down by five. 45-40. Go to the corner left. They may have had a look at a basket on that last one. Just choosing to work the ball around the perimeter and eat some clock. They tried to dump it in. Cheeseman looking for Williams who was posted up. And it goes through Williams' hands. Another turnover, Doddridge helping Roan County out here. Lady Raiders just not taking advantage offensively here in this ball game. Inbounds. It was intended for Bo. It was taken by Harlan in the front court. Now Williams throws it away. It's up for grabs. Here comes Tolly. Shot blocked by Williams. Outlet pass. Cheeseman saves it in. Roan County steals it back, but it was Keen who grabbed it in the front court and goes back court with it. Well, just the momentum carried you across the line. That's a tough break. And Keen, just a hustle play. And you wanted to say, hey, jump first and then grab it. Yeah. <laughs> Rome County loses another opportunity here offensively on another turnover by Doddridge. Possessions getting fewer and fewer as the time runs down 3-10 now Keen. A reach-in foul. Just a little bit of a body bump there on Keene. That's going to be foul number three on Ella. Now we got a substitution. I think they're going to get Keene out with a third. Kate Mullen in. 3.09 left in the game. 45-40. to 40. Doddridge with the lead. Roan County took a couple of leads. Midway through the third when it was yo-yoing back and forth, but Doddridge has held the lead the vast majority of the second half. Paul inbounds out top, hands it to Lipscomb. Roe County has not veered from that 1-2-2 two, two zone. It has kept them in the ball game. It got them back in the ball game, number one, but it has kept them in it. And unfortunately, Tolly getting handsy out top is going to be whistled for her fourth. You've got to be careful. You can't afford, you know, you've been short bench here tonight. With uh, Hope Mason out sick, that's uh, really been tough underneath with the size and strength of Williams and Adams. But you know, like you said, Ella Keen has done a great job in this one stepping in. But certainly would have been great to have had uh, Hope Mason in this ball game. Under three left in the game, 45-40 Doddridge. They're being patient now, working some clock. Hand off Cheeseman. She'll hand it off out top. Trent wanting to attack. Dishes in the paint. Williams. Tried to dump it in. It was stolen away by Kaiser. Another turnover for Doddridge. Roe County has got to take advantage here. Harlan on the left wing. Moving some traffic with her head. Dumps it over to Mullen. Corner out top. Kaiser, 18-footer short. Rebound, Mullen. Oh, misses the rebound. Put back, but there's Kaiser. Kate Mullen, a major rebound offensively. Missed the jumper, but there comes Kaiser crashing. The lead down to one possession. 45-42, Doddridge with 2.05 left. Paul brings it out between the circles. And she'll look to drive. Roan County left. Paul, what in the world? They missed an assignment, and Paul took advantage. Oh, you're trying to switch your defense up and go man-to-man, -man and everybody's running trying to find somebody. They just left Paul wide open. I don't like changing the defense at that particular moment. Yeah, that's not one you want to leave open. Quick and can make layups. 140 left, Roan County down, 47-42. Tolly, a deep left wing three, off the mark, rebound tipped around into the hands of Cheeseman. Into the front court. Will Doddridge slow down or will they continue to press the issue? They'll go two guards set out top now, and I think they're going to try to run some time and force Roan County to foul. Roan County with just three on the board right now. 
Paul dribbling it around with 115. Three guard weave, Trent drives, dishes left wing. Roan County has Keene at the score table, ready to check in. 110 left, Roan County's gonna have to start fouling. And it can't be Tolly. Bo reaching in, and there's the fourth foul. I think at this point you're going to try to tell Mullen maybe to try to foul here to get to five. Keen, though, is going to check in for Mullen. Well, you got Piper with no nope, foul. He'll check in, sorry, for Kaiser. And Piper Harlan doesn't have a foul yet in this ballgame either. She could easily get there quickly with the fast feet. Raw pass over top of Rogue County Paul. Had trouble handling it, finally gets to it. Paul dribbling it out around, and it will be Mullen with 57 on the clock. She'll foul. That's the fifth. Roan County will send Tenley Paul to the line for two. And Roan County trailing 47 to 42. I tell you, they've had their opportunities in this quarter. Doddridge has turned the ball over down the stretch. It's just Roan County hasn't been able to find the deep shots to go. And, uh, of course, underneath, those second, third chance opportunities have been few and far between. Well, they've had some, Roan County's had some really good looks at the basket. We're able to connect in that second quarter, just have not been able to, to find the rhythm in those catch-and-shoot opportunities and lack of rebound. Paul helped Roan County by missing both free throws and did not box out Williams. Williams, another offensive rebound and another layup. You got exactly what you wanted in the foul. You got exactly what you wanted in Tinley Paul missing. I mentioned this is not a great free throw shooting team, but number one on a free throw down the stretch is you must box out, and if you cannot find Williams, who has been dominant on the block here in this ball game, then you have made a clerical and statistical error, and that will cost Rome County big with 46 on the clock. Rome County now down seven. That's the largest lead of the second half. Yeah, tough down the stretch. Uh, you know, that's rule number one on the free throw. you got to get a body on somebody. I know that's a tough task. Williams very strong underneath and just muscles are weight. Right now, sitting at 16 points and 11 rebounds, and uh, quite a few of those have been of the offensive variety. She averages on the season, by the way, Matt, 6.3 points and 7.1 rebounds per game. So she has certainly done her part and then some to help Doddridge. Let's see if Roan County has some magic left here with 46.5 seconds remaining. Down seven. The threes have not fallen in this quarter, but who, who knows? And we saw a lot of craziness at the end of the first half. Roan County with a big run, able to take the lead right at the buzzer, see if they got another one in them. Bo will trigger it inbounds, quarter court, gets it to Tolly out top. Tolly off the screen, she'll have an open three, hits the front of the rim. Guess who, Williams, on another rebound? Roan County. If they want to do it, they're going to have to foul quickly here. Harlan chasing after Paul. 30 seconds left. Roan County's coaching staff calling for a foul. Got to be careful. And Harlan, the no-no. You can't shove on the foul, and Piper did. Well, you you got to foul, but everybody knows you're going to foul. You got to make it seem like it's a accident. Yeah, you got to go out there and foul immediately can't just sit back defensively. You're down seven here, 25 seconds to go. Now you're going to get free throws and the ball back for Dodger. Paul will hit the first opportunity this time. Mullen set to check in. Well, it looks with 25 seconds remaining as if this run by Roan County is going to fall slightly short. But think about what Roan County has had to overcome here tonight. They did not have a starter in Hope Mason. You bring a freshman in Ella Keen in, her first start of her career. She's expected to play big minutes and do big things. She has Roan County, a putrid start offensively, trailed by 12 after one, and they have fought back, and they have made this an absolute battle. Inbounds comes to Paul, and now Mullen with the grab with 21 seconds left. Well, if Roan County does not make the miracle comeback here, they will finish as the number three seed in the East, which means the last we saw on the West, it was Parkersburg Catholic 
as the three seed. So what we could be seeing is a rematch of a big victory for Roan County a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we'll just have to see where it falls, and that game will be at the castle on Thursday night. Paul hits two of two. Roan County down by 11 now. Here's Kaiser, loose for the jumper. That one rolls in nicely. But 10 seconds left. And Paul into the front court with five. And I don't think Roan County is going to foul. They will not. They'll call off the dogs. What a battle. In the end, Doddridge, just too much for Roan County down the stretch. But I'll tell you what. This was one of those epic, wonderful, fun battles in the Little Canal Conference. A great fight for Roan County. Doddridge County will be the representative as the two seed in the LKC East. They will face off against St. Mary's for the third place contest. Meanwhile, Roan County will head to a placement game on Thursday night at the Castle. We believe maybe Parkersburg Catholic, maybe Ravenswood. That will all play itself out after tonight. So... We will take a break for our sponsors. When we come back, we'll recap the contest, have your statistics. We'll have a chat with Coach Shandy White, and we'll give out our Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts player of the game after these messages. You're watching and listening to Roan County Lady Raider Basketball on WVRC. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Just why TNT with dynamite. They'll treat you right. TNT with lots of cars. TNT will sell you cars. Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs. From oil change to brakes and tires to alignments and everything in between. D&D, we are a full service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of Auburn County High School Athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider Volleyball and Softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecidwv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License, 055775. This is Cassandra Sayer, Women's Health Provider at Roan County Family Health Care. As a board-certified women's health nurse practitioner, I specialize in providing care to women throughout the many phases of their lives. At Roan County Family Health Care, we provide confidential family planning services to anyone of the reproductive age and offer breast and cervical cancer screenings at no cost to individuals who are uninsured or underinsured through the BCCS program. From adolescent health care to preventive and contraceptive management, pregnancy tests and prenatal visits with pregnancy care after through menopause and beyond, the staff in the Women's Health Department at Roan
Southern County Family Healthcare is here to serve you. Call 304-927-1719 to schedule an appointment today. Brown County Family Healthcare, health and wellness for the whole family. We welcome you back inside the Craig M. Keller Gymnasium as it is quickly emptying out, and we have had time to digest the ball game and calm down. This was a fun, crazy battle. It was not the greatest start of the ball game for Roan County. Uh, Roan County already uh, starting a player down, one of the starters, Hope Mason, ill tonight, so she was not here. And so Roan County's team-oriented group calls upon a, a freshman to take the place of a senior, Ella Keene, coming in for her first start, and she was great. She did everything that was asked of her and then some. Roan County, though, just did not have it to begin the ball game. They weren't nervous. They didn't look bad. They just couldn't get offense rolling. Meanwhile, they were playing some man-to-man -man defense in that first quarter, and they were getting burnt on some high pick and rolls and some drives to the basket. And before you knew it, Roan County was down 19-7 to after the first quarter. Lady Raiders' first four points came at the free throw line, and that didn't happen until about the three-minute mark of the quarter. Roan County only one made field goal. It was a three by Braylon Bow late in the first quarter. And that and continued until about the five-minute mark of the second quarter. At that point, Roan County woke up. The smelling salts were delivered, and the Lady Raiders got to work. They changed from a man-to-man -man defense, and they stuck with it through the rest of the game. A 1-2-2 zone, it baffled Doddridge, and they were throwing it into those passing lanes where the zone was, and Roan County was just swiping it away. Roan County started to make some shots inside. That got them fired up. They made a couple threes from the outside, one from Bo, her second of the game, one from Tolly, and then a big one from Piper Harlan. Before you knew it and blink, blink your eyes five minutes in the second quarter Roan County went from down 17 to up to 30 to 28 at the half it was a quick run though for Doddridge they got right back to work in the third a 5-0 run they took the lead Roan County was a little bit slow offensively again but they were able to get back on track they took the lead back at about the six minute mark in the quarter. And then it went back and forth for the next three minutes before Doddridge took the lead for good. Roan County was hovering between one and three points throughout the rest of the ball game and then down the stretch, obviously, as Roan County had to start fouling to try to get closer. Uh, the lead expanding through free throws to seven to nine. It got up to 11 with free throws back down to nine. The final score, 53 to 44. Again, the Lady Raiders certainly had their opportunities in the final five minutes as Doddridge was throwing the ball away, giving some unforced turnovers and opportunities. Roan County just couldn't find those outside shots that would have lit them up and maybe taken them over over the, uh, the hurdle that they were trying to get over, Matt. But I'll tell you what, an absolutely tremendous battle between these two programs, a great fight in the LKC East with all that was on the line. Both teams stepped up, and it was fun to watch. Unfortunately for Roan County, they will fall here tonight. Yeah, you definitely got to be proud of the effort of the Lady Raiders. They, you could have rolled over when you're down 17 in the first quarter, fought back, made it as close of a ball game as you're going to get through that second and third periods is down the stretch. You miss some shots, give up a couple of second chance buckets and you end up here with, you know, the nine point uh, loss, but you know, you, you can't say enough for how hard this team plays, how hard that coach uh, Shandy white, uh, you know, has been pushing these ladies throughout the season to get them to this point to where they're at to be able to compete in, in a very tough, uh, you know, the upper echelon of the LKC is very, very tough. I mean, you East and West both, you, you know, Gilmer, this Doddridge team, uh, you're looking at St. Mary's, Williamstown, Parkersburg Catholic, Ravenswood. So a lot of really good competition in the LKC. And for my money, Roan County is right there with the best of them. I, I couldn't believe it. You you would not have gotten me to believe Not because I just doubt her. You just didn't know, Matt. You didn't know coming yeah. into this year what Roan County was going to have. I don't think they honestly knew as they were preparing for the season to start. And as it's progressed, 
Coach Shandy White has them believing, and they are believing each other, which is number one, and that's why they're playing such high-level basketball. Well, and like I love the way that uh, that Shandy has coached this team throughout this season. The the hard nose, the defensive aspect, knowing that you know you really don't have necessarily that offensive go-to threat. It's got to be team basketball offensively, and you use that that hard nosed defense to try to generate. Uh, you know, uh, some scoring opportunities. But I thought in the half-court set, uh, Roan County has come a, a long, a long way yes. in, this season from start to finish. And still plenty of games left to go in this season <laughs> because coming up you're going to have sectional play as well, yep. leading into co-regional opportunity and possibly a berth at the state tournament. Whew. Just amazing to think of. Statistically, Matt, how did it break down for us? Well, um, early start, Roan County was good off on the offensive re or on defensive rebounds and keeping uh, Doddridge at bay. But uh, I would say uh, Akaya Williams basically closed the gap herself there. Uh, 32 to 30, the rebound margin in favor of Roan County, but it was uh, some inopportune misses there late that uh, kind of sealed the deal. Uh, moved the ball well, 9 to 7, the advantage in assists for Roan County. Doddridge with a slight edge, 15 to 12 in steals. Both teams having some issues at times holding on to the basketball. And then uh, interior play, uh, four block shots for the Bulldogs. Uh, scoring for Roan County, uh, Anna Tolley leading the way offensively with 15 points. Uh, she had three steals and two assists. Braylon Bowe with 10 points, uh, five rebounds, three assists, and four steals. Piper Harlan was big early with the energy, uh, eight points, 12 rebounds. She had seven of those in the first quarter alone when Roan County was really struggling. Three assists and one steal for her. Sammy Kaiser, six points, three rebounds, an assist and a steal. And Ella Keene with the start tonight in place of Hope Mason, five points. She had nine rebounds and two steals. And Kate Mullen chipping in with three rebounds and a steal to her credit. Uh, very balanced offensively for Doddridge uh, throughout the majority of this game. But Akaya Williams with 16 points, 12 rebounds, three steals, two block shots, and one assist. Tinley Paul with 15 points, six rebounds, three steals, and one assist. Peyton Trent with five points, three assists, two steals. Allie Cheeseman with five points, three rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Kimberly Adams, five points, four rebounds, a couple of block shots, and a steal. And uh, J.C. Lincoln, Lipscomb with six points, four steals, and three rebounds. Peyton Curry chipping in a point and a rebound and a steal. Add it up, and your Lady Raiders fall to the Lady Bulldogs of Doddridge by a score of 53-44. to 44. Joined now uh, courtside by head coach Shandy White. Coach, obviously, I know you're disappointed in not getting the victory here tonight. Uh, I, it, it's tough when you get shot in the leg before you even play. You lose one of your starters and a senior and Hope Mason. But uh, what we said coming into this game was what we believe about this team at this point after watching you guys all season is this is an absolute team mentality group. You take a senior out. You bring a freshman in. She's played a little bit of varsity action, Ella Keen, but uh, to start and to play the minutes that she has to and to play at the level she has to, she did a fantastic job. A a and on top of that, you guys put yourself in a hole early. You're down 12 at the end of the first. You're down 17 at one point early in the second quarter. There is no quit in this team. This team is absolutely fearless. And even though you didn't get, get the win tonight, those are th the things that you take moving forward into the final couple weeks of the regular season. Um, <clears throat> I've always said, you know, I feel like we're very resilient. Um, <clears throat> we've been playing with a chip on our shoulder all season um, because I just feel like we have to. I feel like we're, we were the underdog coming into it. Um, and so we have to, we have to play for us. Everybody has to be all in. Team mentality, it's we, not me. Uh, Ella Keene stepping in there today, like you said, I mean, Hope Mason plays 95% of the minutes in the paint for us. Uh, she gets a breather here or there, but unless she fouls out, she's predominantly playing 95% of the minutes in the paint. Um, she didn't even know she was starting until the game got ready to start because I didn't want her to get all nervous and in her head. So when she left practice, now that's strategy. 
when she left practice yesterday, she didn't have a clue. She found out right before the game started. Um, well, before the JV game started, obviously. When we got here after they got dressed, I came into the locker room and let her know. And that way she didn't have time to think. She could just go out there yeah. and play. Um, and I thought that she really came in and 50-50 and balls. Yeah. I mean, on the floor, uh, really battling. Um, tonight, uh, I said it would be a battle of wheels. Uh, we really needed an extra person for some legs. We got tired, and that's why our shots didn't fall toward the end of the game. Yeah. We got everything we wanted, fellas. Mm -hmm. We got wide-open shots. We were moving the ball phenomenally well. Um, a few key mistakes in a few cost us tonight. Yeah, you and can say that about any game, obviously, but uh, tonight you look at that. I thought something that was a major decision that your coaching staff made was in between the first and the second quarter to switch from man to man. We mentioned coming in, this was the, one of the more athletic teams top to bottom you were going to see. You went from man to man to one two two zone, and you confused and beguiled them the entirety of that second quarter. That helped you guys get that confidence back and take that lead. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm <clears throat> defense is my thing. I love defense. I love pressure, but I'm not an idiot either. <laughs> um you got to go with what works. Um, there have been times that man-to-man -man has been everything that we've needed. And tonight, you know, we came out a little flat. We got punched in the mouth right off the jump. And so I said, hey, look, let's just switch it completely up. Um, and so we did. And I feel like Arizona, what makes it special, excuse me, <coughs> is that we get those backside. You know, a lot of times in a one-two-two, the backside is is where you get hurt. We're quick enough to get there, and yeah. it, and it and it helps. Absolutely, and I saw that. In fact, I saw Braylon a couple times there in the early part of the second half, baiting those right wing to left block passes, and she was there to go back and deflect or steal them. Uh, again, I thought you guys gave unbelievable max effort. One thing I love about this group, Matt and I were talking about at halftime, is you just never can count them out. It does not matter. You guys do not get rattled. They seem to develop confidence. As the season has progressed, the only two times I can ever think of them getting rattled was the last five minutes of Parkersburg Catholic in the regulation and maybe uh, just a little bit of, gosh, I can't even think of another time that they have gotten even close to rattled. They just stick with it. They continue to stick with it. They continue to believe in each other, and that's why you're in these ball games throughout. Well, you don't get the victory here tonight, but what you do get on Thursday night is a rematch yeah. with Parkersburg Catholic and another opportunity to build upon the success you guys have had throughout the year. Absolutely. And, again, you've got some big ones coming up throughout the year. Who in the world, I'm assuming you decided to play St. Mary's at the end of the year? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, half the schedule. Well, you said if you weren't going to get them in the LKC night of champions, you were going to get them sometime, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, what I told the girls is this is, you know, the the – most crucial part of the season, but it's not going to be easy. But every game that we play from here until, you know, we make it to the sectionals is supposed to help us get better. It's now, it's not about wins or losses because these games ultimately don't get us to, this game gets us to a little piece of the cake. Yeah. Perfect. That's why it means so much. These next ones coming down the line, all they should do is help us get better, define who we are. Can we play through adversity like tonight? I felt like we did. But this is going to make us better for when it comes down to sectional, regional. Like, this is we got to give it everything we got. Win, lose, or draw, we got to play hard, and we got to, you know, correct some things. The goals you set are right in front of you, Coach White. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back with you guys at the Castle on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Head Coach Shandy White, one final break to take. Will it see start your auto parts player of the game coming up after this? It's getting colder outside as winter weather approaches. Have you checked your antifreeze? Did you know all cars don't take the same color antifreeze? Willard Starchers behind the Spencer Middle School has a top-notch sales staff to help you get the right product for your vehicle. Starting fluid, winter wiper blades, antifreeze, diesel anti-gel and conditioner, RV antifreeze, propane heaters, and propane ice scrapers, and of course batteries are ready to go at Willard Starchers to help you get ready for the cold weather. Oh, and we forgot to mention gloves. Get ready for the cold at Willard Starchers. Willard Starchers behind the Spencer Middle School has a top-notch sales staff to help you get the right product for your vehicle. 
Call 927-2520, open seven days a week. Get ready for the cold at Willard Starchers. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School final score here tonight. Roan County falls to the Bulldogs 53-44. to Bulldogs advance to the LKC Night of Champions. Roan County will face off in a rematch against Parkersburg Catholic, the three seed from the west. That'll be Thursday night at the Castle, 7 p.m. for that contest. We'll talk about that in our next broadcast here in a minute. Before we do, Matt White, time for you to distribute our World of Sea Starcher Auto Parts Player of the Game Award. Well, very tough one again, as as per usual with this team. Everybody really chipping in. You know, Anna was very good offensively, especially early in the ball game. Um, defense, though, I think was the the, the biggest f turning point in this game. Um, I'm gonna go with two on this one. We'll go Piper Harlan. Early in this ball game was Man. so good when Roan County was struggling getting on the rebounds. Uh, most of her damage was done in the first half. Eight points, finished 12 rebounds, and did have three assists as well. She steady tons, when no one else was quite steady. And tons of deflections and a lot of things that didn't show up in the scorebook. And another one that I thought played very well tonight was Braylon Bow. Yes. Um, Ten points, hit some big shots early, five rebounds, but four steals and three assists as well and was very solid out there on that wing. And like you said, baiting uh, Doddridge to throw the ball over the top. I thought those two had very good games. Everybody played great. But for me tonight, it's Piper Harlan and Braylon Bow, our Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts players of the game. Congratulations to those two young ladies. Very, very well earned, as do they all. That will do it for us here tonight. Our next sports broadcast a little different here. Tomorrow morning, we're going to head to the Parmar Invitational at West Virginia State. We won't be on WVRC, but we will be broadcasting Roan County Boys versus Sissonville at 11 a.m. Go to our Facebook page. I posted the link to HD Media Game Day. They will be streaming it. They will have our audio with them. And then tomorrow night, we will be covering the senior night festivities for the quad for the Roan County High School wrestling team. That will begin at about 6 p.m. We'll be on the air with pregame coverage at about 5.30 p.m. That'll do it for us here tonight. Roan County falls to Doddridge 53-44. to For all of us here at WVRC, Leah Metz, our studio technician, back at WVRC Control. Katie White, our camera person, Matt White, statistician, and my caller analyst, I'm Andrew Miller. Have a wonderful night, everyone. You've been listening to Roan County High School Lady Raider Basketball on WVRC 104.7 FM. Lady Raider Basketball has been brought to you by these supporting sponsors. Penis Barbershop, Roan General Hospital, Route 33 Steakhouse and La Finca Mexican Restaurant, Macintosh Hardware, Furniture and Appliance, Jack Garrett Ford, Ashley Insurance, Joel Baker Law, PLLC, Old Fences Realty, Dad's Pharmacy, Richard Flan and Garden, Miller's Suds and Sales, Anita Harold Ashley for Circuit Judge, Phoenix Nutrition, Honest Fred's Flooring, D&D Motors, Hilter Supply, Family Health Care, Groves Auto, Ford DePew Realty, Norman Al Daniels, State Farm Agent, Hardman Supply, Josh Downey for Circuit Judge, ECI Environmental Compliance Inc., Carpenter's General Store, Mini Hamilton Health System, Boca Valley Bank, Spencer McDonald's, Rich Top Rentals, Spencer Cash Saver, Brandon Dental, DW Excavating LLC, Spencer Pizza Hut, Kirby Insurance, Calhoun Banks, and the Player of the Game Award sponsored by Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts. Thank you for listening and tune in next time for more exciting play-by-play -play action with Andrew Miller and Matt White. Roan County Lady Raider basketball broadcasts are a production of WVRC 104.7 FM. All rights reserved.